Yo, hello great people, African traveler again. So guys, today we're going to show you one of the wealthiest, wealthiest village in Africa. And most of you guys always think that Africa is about diseases, you know, corruption and, you know, disasters. So guys, I'm going to show you guys and you guys are going to tell me uh, how does this place looks like. So, and um, I'm in a place called Tigoni. It's about 30 kilometers from Nairobi in a, in, a, in a county called Kiambu. Kiambu is one of the wealthiest counties in Kenya and one of also most popular county, most populated counties in Kenya. So guys, I'm gonna show you around. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share. So guys, this place is serene, serene guys, there's no... So we've been here for like, we've, we've been taking some nice shots and we've been here for like 20 minutes. We've not seen a single human being. I think guys are working today <laughs> or oh, it's a holiday. <laughs> so guys, let's take you around and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like and share. The properties in these areas old as a hundred years dating back as early as the first colonial settlers at that time but a good number of the land has mostly changed hands to the, re the regional owners mostly uh, who are the kikuyus and uh, also a big part of the land is still owned by companies kenyan companies tea factories there are so many tea factories around this place and as you can see it's also employed a good number of uh, tea pickers who pick the tea and tea the good thing about tea is tea is picked every day so it's a, it's a it's a product that can be available throughout the year and keeps people busy throughout the year if you want to be see with large scale tea plantation there are places like uh, Kericho Nant Hills where they plant them in super 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 huge chunks chunks of land uh, Kiambu was one of them, but uh, property uh, has been really eating up uh, on the farmland. And the, the disadvantage is that is because Kiambu is super close to Nairobi and the properties fetch way higher prices as compared to things like farming. So the advantage of these huge chunks of land is some of them are owned by cooperative with more than 500 people and that really helps in terms of deciding how to sell the land subdivided to either sell or decide but uh, i hope government comes in and uh, just protects that because this is what we really need in the long term not just properties everywhere
So guys, we are going for waterfall e exploration or what? Yeah. <laughs> Discovery. Discovery. It's a hidden jump. It's known by so very few people. Very few. So guys, we're going to show you a hidden jump. An exclusive one from African Traveler. Why haven't you guys liked the video? Why? <laughs> this guys this is heavenly guys I've shown you a hidden jam a hidden jam this is a waterfall exploring for the last two hours we've not seen a single human being <laughs> this is how serene this area is like it's super super beautiful super nice super serene there's a lot of land regulation around this area you cannot really subdivide your num your land and uh, the other good thing about uh, the farmland that you see is owned by either very huge uh, fa uh, factories that um, process tea or very big uh, pro uh, cooperative uh, from different number of farmers, up to over 500 farmers. And uh, that is a good thing because uh, it requires a lot of process before subdividing the land or selling. So for a willing buyer, for a willing seller, a piece of land would actually go from 45 million Kenya shilling, or basically around $450,000, yeah. So it's quite pricey in a Kenyan, in an African village. Guys, we are still in Africa. Let me just remind you, if you've forgotten, <laughs> in Kenya to be precise. This is a bamboo. It's a cone. Wow. Wow, guys, just look at this. It's covered by bamboo. God, it was the strongest cane. Bamboo are very strong, super, super strong. They make very strong structures. is for the tea farmers and you also have another waterfall there it's a beautiful place it's all surrounded with tea 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 leaves
been working for the last two hours. Oh. This is the struggle of getting you guys content. <laughs> So great people, we come to the end of our beautiful day today and I hope you guys got to know a lot about this place. Tigon is one of the most beautiful places in this, the continent of Africa and it can fit anywhere in the continent of Europe or be, be it US because uh, of its beautiful greenery and serene environment. And uh, yeah, so this is a, uh, one thing also about Tigon is like it's really, really huge. We couldn't cover it in the same video. Uh, so in future, we'll try to one day cover the whole angle of Tigon, including the golf courses, the sporting clubs, including all the many, many, many tourist spots that are around this place. It has a lot of history. Uh, the people also offer tea farm tours. We shall also try in the near future to visit the coffee, uh, the tea, tea factories and take you around, guys. So I got, uh, with that, we come to the end of our day today. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Peace out. Thank you.